The following screencast will provide a demonstration of Acknowledge's waterfall plot routine. The waterfall plot routine works off of either a peak in the data, in this case I'm going to be using an ECG file so the system will use the peak of the R wave to center the plot or it can use events in the data as the center point. The first thing we have to do is go to the analysis menu and select the waterfall plot option. And here are our two options, either from an event, well in this case our file doesn't have any events in it, or off of peaks. And as I said previously, I'm going to use the peak of this ECG signal for creation of the plot. The nice thing about this automated routine is it guides you through. The same can be done with the find peak cycle de detector, but this automates the setup procedure for you. So we're asked to highlight a single peak in the data. I'm going to highlight one single ECG complex. My peak is selected and the peak is going up. And now it's asking me, there are two channels in this file, although I'm only displaying one, which channel do I want to get an average from? So in this case, it's going to be just channel one, ECG. Sorry, not an average, the which channel do I want to create the waterfall plot from? So it's ECG. Now I'm asked to select an area around the signal so that we can determine the actual, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, determine the actual data that will be used for the plot. So I'm going to highlight an area like so. That, so we've got one complete cycle. Now I'm going to select create plots. This will take a few seconds while the software goes through and analyzes everything. And here, if I maximize this, here we have our waterfall plot. This is a 3D representation. And you can see the cycle numbers coming forwards, 1,444. Got the amplitude of the signal, and then the time window that was selected. And this Oops. can be rotated around so that you get a better look of the data. And then you can see some changes, some variation part way through. Keep rotating around. So there is the P wave, QRS, and then there's the T wave. And if I reduce this down, this gives you a quick idea of how easy it is to generate a 3D plot of this data. And this is where we were looking at in the waterfall plot where we were seeing that change. The subject changed position during the recording and you could just see that in the plot. Anyway that concludes our demonstration of the Acknowledge waterfall plot routine.